Greetings, this is Arsalan Iftikhar from the Islamic Monthly Magazine, and I am here today to talk to you about what's on my mind. What's been on my mind for almost a decade is the increase in people drawing cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad in Western media outlets all around the world. Uh, the world first saw this in late 2005 during the Danish cartoon controversy when a right-wing newspaper in Denmark called Elens Posten decided to publish 12 incendiary cartoons depicting the Prophet Muhammad in several caricatures including a bomb-laden turban, etc. We saw in April 2010 the American cartoon comedy show South Park on Comedy Central decided to run an episode with the Prophet Muhammad in a teddy bear costume and even as recently as September 2012 we saw the French magazine uh, Charlie Hebdo decide to do the same thing and run more cartoons depicting the Prophet Muhammad and as a public intellectual who's had to deal with all of these issues within the global media I see five key reasons as to why people have been increasing the publication of cartoons depicting the Prophet Muhammad First and foremost, I think that they are trying to elicit a violent response from some elements of the Muslim world by casting a bait that they hope some Muslims will react to violently. Secondly, I think that a lot of people are publishing these cartoons because they want to show that Muslim communities uh, do not support free speech or the concept of a free press. Number third, something that's quite obvious, I think that they are also trying to show that Muslims don't have a sense of humor. Uh, the funniest guy in America, Dave Chappelle, is actually a Muslim, so we do have a sense of humor. Fourth, I think that right-wing ideologues are using it to try to perpetuate and further the clash of civilizations theory. And fifth, and again the most important reason, is the first one. I think that they are trying to cast a bait and hope that Muslims will respond violently. So the next time we see cartoons depicting our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the best thing that Muslims can do is ignore it.